Hi, this is Berger. This is something I've been wanting to make for a while. This is Andrea's version of reducing the corners of Earth to a Rubik's Cube and solving them like that. I've already reduced the edges and I'm going to begin by placing two yellow inside circle corners in this place here which is the furthest away from my two bandaged faces my white and my green so I'm going to put them in there's one down there on one of my bandaged faces my goal is going to be to put them onto a bandaged face and then to put them up and I'm going to turn this down turn this edge, I've just turned that edge down into there place it onto that edge and turn it back up by, by returning my three edges that have been cycled around a corner when they go back this goes back I don't have any more down there on my green face at the moment so I can just move one down from anywhere as a setup move and place that one in here by turning this edge piece down that outside edge piece is down there now lock that onto it and then recycle my outside edges around that corner Now I've got my two inside circle corners located there. I can just return this. And all of my edges are still solved. Now I'm going to be reducing my corners. And I'll be using these two slots here on my bandaged face to bring my corner pieces into. And these two faces here, my two bandaged faces to be moving my corners around and this face to do the exchanging. So I'll be looking to match the inside circle corners here with something on the outside here like this. This row of pieces, of edge pieces here, will actually remain uh, in, their, in their position, but these other edge pieces will cycle around and these will stay in place but be moved. So let's match our first one up, like that, and then I'll just keep this on the bottom and use my green face here to manoeuvre my pieces in, and I'll just be looking for something in, for an inside circle corner to match one of these, so I'll be looking for like a red one or an orange one, there's an orange one, and I'll put it down this way. and bring that up. Match that. I'll bring a yellow one in. Match that one up. The reason I want to start bringing these, keep bringing these ones around as well is because some of them will have an unsolved piece in them so I want to make sure they're all getting solved. I've got a green one there that I can bring in. Match him up. red one for one of those and continue Now that my corners are reduced, I'll solve my bottom layer or my yellow face and to do that I'll have a look around and see if I can find on one of these two bandaged faces one of the corner, if one of the corners is going to go into these two slots. This red and blue corner is going to go into here so I'll just remove that and I'll just place it in here like that and I'll reorientate the other one and now that they're orientated I can look around and see if I can find two that need to switch and 
I'll have to switch two. In this case, I've got two opposites here, so I'll, so I'll have to switch these two. So I'll just switch those two. I probably should slow down a little bit for you. Um, but now that I've switched those two, I can switch. I can switch these two so that I can get this one in its correct spot and then switch those two. So I'll slow down a little bit and show you what I'm doing. Um, I'll just turn that out and then exchange it with this one by turning the other way and then two turns we'll exchange it with this one. So now I can bring, now I've got those placed, I can bring this one across to my green face and exchange these two just by pulling them out and swapping them, that's all I'm doing. Place it here and switch it in and switch that one in. Okay. This has remained solved all the way through. Now my bottom layer is solved. What I'll be doing for now is I'll be looking to see if my corners are placed correctly in the top layer. And to do that, I'll just quickly orientate them. Uh, it helps me look, and it'll also be useful for the next sequence that you'll see. So I'll just do a couple of soons across here to orientate those. All I'm interested in is orientating the corners. My corners are orientated, I can see if I've got any pairs here. And, and pairs will tell me that these two need to be switched. And that brings up uh, a difficult little situation that we can get through. What I'll do is I'll locate my green bandaged face on the top, my white bandaged face on my right hand side, and my yellow solved face on my left here. And I'll find my pair, there's my pair, and I'll put my matched pair on the top and the pair that I'd like to exchange on the bottom here. And then I'm just going to run through a bit of a sequence but you'll see that it's, it's all I'm doing is exchanging things out. I'm not it's not really a sequence. But I'll do a U-turn and turn this piece off, a U2 and turn that piece up into there. Then I'll do a U2 and turn this piece up into there and turn that onto this face. All I've done is put those two pieces into here with my two white faces. That's why I orientated, now you can see why I orientated my corners is that I wanted these two to be the same colour if I got that situation. Then um, I'll just do an L turn to exchange that position to there or well, that piece to there and it'll take on a new circle corner and then what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to place this piece here into here so what I'll do is, uh, which is it's, which is where it lives so I'll turn it up to here so that if I turn that across and turn that down it will go in there and turn it back and then I'm going to position this one up onto there all I'm doing is exchanging them, so you can see now I've exchanged that one and I'm just going to replace it out with the piece that goes into there which is this one. So I'll turn that down, turn that across, turn that back up and then return that and return that. Now what that's done is it's switched the two pieces that I wanted to exchange down here effectively um, so I might as well show you, I'll just show you that and, and so that you can see that that's been done. Um, I'll just do a soon here and you'll be able to see that that has been done and my, my corners are placed. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and solve the reduced cube. So I'll turn this piece, this edge piece into here and place this one
from there. Then I'll place this one, this corner piece here, this edge piece here, sorry, and place this corner piece on top of it and solve that. Then I'll just do some soons. And cycle my edges around with soon as well. I hope that was informative. Earth is soft.